Georgia, you're playing the mama, the mama of eight, and um, uh, you you are so uh, you you just never get ruffled by these eight children. Now, in real life, if you had eight children, how do you think you'd be? I'd probably be dead. <laughs> <laughs> Being around eight children for the weeks that you shot this picture, what was that like? That was a privilege. I really enjoyed it so much. They were wonderful children. And, and for um, a single woman who doesn't have children, it's like a gift to have a family for six weeks. What was it like when you had to say goodbye to them? It was hard to say goodbye to the kids. It was, but we all said, see you at the premiere, so I'm going to see all my children tomorrow. <laughs> Did they really come to think of you off the set as a kind of mother figure? No, I don't think so, to be honest with you. I think they thought of me as a friend, but their mothers were there on the set. and um, So they had their own mothers to take their problems to. They yes. didn't have to come to Georgia. <laughs> Everybody, of course, knows you from the Mary Tyler Moore show and, and um, uh, with Ted Knight and, and your television image, all the things that you've done. Uh, how much of that uh, crept into this? How much of what? How much of that character? Uh, and, in other words, what I, I'm trying to, to get at is um, the same thing that I said to Robert you know, people have that image of you from seeing you on television, and then now you're playing a, an entirely different role. So, you know, what I, do you think about? I think about? it's up to other people to decide how much of it creeps in. As, as Robert said, every actor's own individuality does, I think, shine through. Um, I was thrilled to do this part because, frankly, for me, it it included all the humor that I've enjoyed doing in previous roles, but it was a little more substantial, which satisfied my heart to do, because obviously Pearl Porter um, had to be an intelligent woman to, to run such a large household smoothly and be a support to her husband. So she was no dummy. <laughs> Indeed not, and you play her uh, beautifully, I think, really. I was, I was impressed with your performance. Um, the uh, the uh, television image, uh, now this, this is kind of a breakthrough for you in a way, isn't it, Georgia, in that, that this is something that I think Hollywood people might not have cast you in this role, but a man with Martin Giroux's vision would. Right. I'm very, very grateful for that opportunity and, and that he had the discernment uh, and his director, too, to to um, believe that I could uh, do it. What about working? You had s have some wonderful scenes with Imogene Coca. Now, you are two entirely different kinds of, of people. Um, did you get anything particular from your scenes working with Imogene? Oh, I think we fell in love with each other. <laughs> She's just a darling, darling lady and so much fun to work with. And. I was comforting her all the time because she, she was really more like my images than I am, <laughs> really, because she was so nervous and flustered and, and just all discombobulated all the time getting together. <laughs> and when she was afraid, she was a different person every second, and she's just always imaging. <laughs> <laughs> So wonderful. instead of Imogene being the, the, the old pro, <laughs> it was kind of reverse that you oh, were... Oh, I wouldn't presume ever to say that, but... <laughs> I don't mean old, old, but I mean in terms of experience, she would be the old pro, yes, yeah, having been at it so long. <laughs> yeah. Okay, very good, Georgia. Um, Georgia, did you talk with any of the people who might have known the woman you play? Yes, I talked to um, Aline Porter, the woman who wrote the book that um, the movie was a screenplay taken from the book. And um, she would tell me wonderful stories about her mother and about how people would come to the mother and um, 
be so helped by just the love she showed people in the community. So she truly was a support to her husband's ministry. She really lived a Christian life that reached out and, and uplifted and, and helped people from all different walks of life. And she said that, um, that her mother never had to, to really yell at the kids because they loved her so much that they wanted to please her. And, and I just, it meant so much to me to, to hear about Aline Porter's mother from her. That is really beautiful. That is a beautiful statement. Georgia, the woman you play in this movie is the mother of eight children and she just never gets upset with them or ruffled by them. How do you think this mother of eight children could remain so calm all the time? What were you able to find out about the woman you're playing? Was there anybody to help you portray this woman? Uh, let's see. 